We're gonna take these supplies. This Skeletor costume. <laughs> hey guys, Make Shape Create, I'm Corey, and uh, we're making a Skeletor costume. So uh, let's get started. All right guys, so we're starting with these basic components, some funnels, uh, berms, pole, staff, whatever. Um, some E6000 and this plastic Rams skull I got on Amazon. Um, links to all this is gonna be down in the description, guys. Um, I've already taken off all the screws and put them in this piece of tape so I don't lose them um, to get this apart. Um, I think what we're gonna do is we're going to flatten out with the bandsaw, cut off this at 90 degrees. So we have a nice flat bottom. Uh, Pre-drill a hole in here, connect it that way, and then reinforce it with some E6000. And I think that's how we're gonna do that. So I'm gonna start with that. Okay, we got our end cut. Pretty good cut too. Um, it might not be exactly 90 degrees, but that's okay. Um, so I think, I'm not 100% sure how I'm doing this, but I think what we're gonna do is we're gonna drill a couple holes in the end of this, and a couple holes in this, do some screws in here, and then reinforce it with some E6000. So we're gonna try that. Hopefully it works. That's drying. We need to cut the ends off of this, these funnels. Um, I'm gonna use these kind of to taper it up along the bow staff. Um, and then we need to cut out the ends, but we need to figure out where and what angle to cut these off at. So uh, let's go do that. All right, we got our funnels cut down. Um, I really jacked up this first one. Um, I was trying to cut the more of the lip off um, and yeah, it started shattering. So on these, all I did was just take the little tab off and that seemed to work better. Um, problem is now I have to get these over here, over the pole and get them to stay in a certain point. And the one hole is just a little too big. Move this down so you guys can see what I'm doing. these to make like a putty this will also set up a little faster too but this will increase the thickness of the pole now and it'll be a better bond anyway set up. Like I said, I ended up having to hold it for a while. 
uh, once the glue set in the baby powder and all that, I was able to glue it in. I also reinforced it with a little piece of cellophane that I glued to it to make more of a mechanical bond with the super glue. Um, the other ones are a little tighter, so I don't think I'm gonna have to do all that, but I'm also gonna end up reinforcing all these with some um, E6000 like I did the top. So uh, let's do that. start working on the mask so what I'm gonna do is I got this at five below for like a dollar as you can see the one side is kind of flat which is why I'm assuming they were at five below for a dollar I'm gonna try to use the heat gun to kind of remold this similar to this side and then it's our elastic strap that's all I really need to do to it besides paint it um, I found this jaw off of another skull and I'm gonna try to also use the heat gun on it to try to widen it a little bit. And also I'm gonna kind of shape it up on the bandsaw to try to get rid of like some of these pegs and some of this back part and all that. Um, but this we're gonna attach to the, I have a full face black mask that we're going to attach this to so that this way this moves with my jaw. So uh, let's do that. Okay. guys I want to say this if you notice in that last shot when I was cutting these off these were getting caught in between here and the blade and I had to move them I want you to notice that I turned off the machine and waited till this stopped before I attempted to move this so please don't anybody try to grab anything out of here while the blades moving it's extremely dangerous make sure the machines off then do what you gotta do okay Let's move on. Okay, 
so while the mask and now the staff are drying, um, we are going to move on to the harness. So I found this harness on Amazon. Um, it's got these shoulder things that the character doesn't actually have, but I kind of like them. So I'm gonna leave them um, and we're just gonna add to it. Um, we need to add the skull, or not the skull, the uh, crossbones, um, the little amulet he has, um, and then the little thin things he has coming off the shoulders. So uh, we're gonna do that using craft them. So why the glue's drying on that, I need to cut. I got this, I think it's a doll head is what it was labeled as, but it was a couple bucks at Michael's. I'm gonna cut it almost in half, and then I'm gonna cut these bones down to uh, use for the chest thing. So, here we go. Pieces cut, time to start gluing them together. All right, well, this is drying, and this is drying. Everything else is drying. We're gonna start on the loincloth. Um, I got this old belt that uh, it still fits, but as you can tell, it's kind of jacked up. Um, we're gonna use this as kind of the base for it. Um, so yeah, let's get started. <laughs> So this is dry. Um, I got add on. I just got to trim this down here and here. Use craft foam to make the shoulder thin things. Uh, glue this on. I had to end up using some uh, same thing I did earlier for the havoc staff, where I used some baby powder to kind of thicken it up. Um, I also reinforced it with some foam. But uh, this will go right there. Glue all this up. And then uh, this is ready for paint. drying on staff, the chest harness, the loincloth, skull mask. Um, now we need to do the bracers and the shin guards. So uh, here we go. So how I'm gonna do this is I'm gonna kind of cut uh, triangles into it and then cup it around so that they kind of end up like fit. Um, I haven't quite figured out how I'm attaching it to my wrist yet. Um, probably going to use Velcro. Yeah. 
and I'll probably end up doing the brake or the shin guard the same way, just bigger. So, uh, here we go. to attach the jaw to the mask. Um, I kind of went in the bathroom and in the mirror kind of put it on my face, hoping that the paint was gonna be wet enough, and it kind of was in some places, but it didn't tell me a whole lot. So, plan B is, I think I'm gonna put, um, masking tape on my face and then glue it to the mask that way and once it dries I'll take it off and hopefully it sticks and not to my face because that would hurt yeah we're gonna try that yes I'm completely aware of how ridiculous this looks Now I just gotta let it dry. Guys, guess what? It's done. Check it out. how I did it there's some things I wish I could do a little better but I'm totally happy with how this came out um all the links to everything we got on Amazon will be down below um with the exception of the mask the skull mask and the craft foam that's where we got everything um if you like this video or have a suggestion on anything we could have improved please hit the like button and leave a comment down below um, to see future videos, hit the subscribe button and hit that little bell. And, uh, we hope to see you guys next week. Happy Halloween. <laughs>